So I thought you might find this interesting. When I'm getting ready to paint um, anything, really, but in particular, in this case, it was this little uh, figure for my Jeep build. And I need to match the paint to get the uniform color as, as accurate as I, can, as I can get it. But I don't have the exact right color, so I'm going to have to do some mixing. So how do, I, how do I figure out what colors that I need and, and so that I can find it to match it up? So I, I came up with this um, technique that I use to, to match colors or to find the colors that I need to match. And, and what we want to start with is uh, a, an image. You want to find the color. If, you, if it's not like something that you can pick up and hold in your hand, you're going to have to find a photograph of it. And in this case, uh, since the, uh, the little guy is uh, uh, dressed in U.S. infantry, I guess that's infantry, he's dressed in a World War II uniform, we needed to find an image of a period correct uh, uniform. And digging around on the internet, I came up with uh, this one. And this is on a site called Wikimedia Commons. Um, it's hosted by the same folks that do Wikimedia. And it's just a repository of images. And after a little digging, I found uh, these three guys right here. And the one that matches my model is this fella here on the left. So what we want to do is, and this lets you download these images. So we want to come over and download. And... We want the largest one, I want full resolution, and we're going to download that. So that opens the image up here, so we can, you know, we can zoom in and out. And then we're going to right click on it and save image as. And you can see I've already got it saved here. And then uh, we'll, so I'm going to cancel out of that. Now that we have our image, we need to uh, match the colors and, and how do we do that because that's uh, let's see here as you can see there are some multiple shades of green and tan and brown in here and how do you pick out the base color that you need to work to start with so I mean there's, there's dark green there there's a lighter green along there so I use the it's a free software and it's called paint.net and it allows you to zoom in all the way down to the pixel size so as you can see across the screen the different tones of that shade of that olive green so it's darker in here it's lighter up here so what we're looking for is zooming in a representation of the color we're needing for these pants or the jacket or whatever so what I start with is I, we want to isolate the image and remove as much of the background as we can to uh, and then create to create the document that's gonna we're gonna be able to print out and it'll show our the colors that we're looking for so kind of the way I do that is we'll just um, and there are tutorials galore I'll find a good one and put it in the notes on, on how to use paint.net just the, the basics of it but what we're going to do is we're going to select the our soldier guy right here all right now that we've got him selected we're going to crop out the uh, the rest of the of the image just leaving our uh, fellow left here by his lonesome but now we need to create the document that we're going to use to uh, print out uh, so we can have the colors close at hand so we're going to start with uh, the resizing the image now the height I'm going to put this on a just a piece of copy paper just plain copy paper and I'm going to do it in um, landscape mode so we need the height of this guy to be 8.5 inches so we're going to maintain an aspect ratio so it's going to be 8.5 inches 
I'm going to OK. I'm going to increase the size of him to 8.5 inches to where he... Now we're going to go back to the image again. We're going to make the canvas size. This is the overall image. And we're going to go width 11 inches. So there, there's our document that we're going to use to uh, pick the colors we need. So, so now we have our document. We're going to extract uh, the. We need to. We need to know the colors we need to extract. So we're going to start with the helmet up here, and uh, let's see. We're going to use these rectangles, and just to pull our colors out. So we're going to have the helmet. Make that a little bit bigger, and then we'll need the uh, the shirt he's wearing and the jacket. Once we have the jacket, uh, we're going to need the uh, his uh, equipment belt. Then the uh, those pants. And then we've got the leggings. Another row. His boots. So now we need to label everything. So we've got the uh, the helmet, the shirt. There's the jacket. Do the belt there, pants, the leggings, and the boots. So now we need to actually get the colors. So we're going to do that with the little toolbar over here. So we're going to zoom in, and we'll be doing a lot of zooming in and out. So if you're on a big screen, I apologize. Start with the helmet. We want to find what is a good representation color of the helmet. Where do we see? We need to get our start with this little fellow right here is called the color picker. So we'll move around in here, zoom in and out. What we want to find is um, go back, look at the shadow here. See how the this gives us the direction of the sun. So we want to look for the color where the sun's hitting the, the color the most. It's a little awkwardly sounding, but yeah, okay. So uh, it's not really easy. So it's got that netting over top of it. But I think right there is a good spot. So as we zoom in. And I believe that's netting there. So the color I want, and more netting there. So we're looking probably in this area right here. So I'm going to go with uh, this guy. So we're going to pick him. And we're going to zoom back out. So we picked that color. And that color will show up over here in the color palette. That's the color we picked. So now we're going to go to the bucket tool. All right. And then we're going to place that color in the helmet block. So now we've got our helmet color. And we can tweak this a little bit. And once we get it here, that's uh, if we need to. But uh, we'll, I'll show you that here in a second. So now we need the shirt. So the shirt we've got is an equipment vest on too. So. But uh, our guy's not wearing equipment vest, so we're not going to worry too much about that. But we want to get the shirt, so we're going to go back to the color picker and zoom in on the shirt. And that's going to be right in here, I think, is going to find us a good spot. Right on, probably right along in there. So we want, I think we're going to go with this right here. I think that's the color we're looking for. Again, we're going to take the bucket tool and we're going to drop the shirt color in there. And 
Once we get the rest, then we'll go through and sort of do the same thing with the rest of these. There's our colors. Now, the helmet. Uh, I'm, I've, I know these helmets. I've held this. One, I've held one of these in my hand before, um, so I know that that color is a little dark for what we're needing. But the tone, the color is correct, but the tone is not quite right yet. So we're going to come over to our uh, color palette, and we're going to adjust these. So. We're going to go back to our color picker and we'll just grab this color and load it up and then bucket back over top of it. So now what we want to do here is he needs to be hmm something a little more to the green. Now we can manipulate that color over here. Put it back to where it was now. I think we need that to be a little greener. So I'm going to take green and we're going to boost the green. And slowly boost in the green until we get about where we want. That's that's pretty spot on right there. So I think we're very good there. All right. Now we'll come back to the shirt. And I think the shirt needs to be a little lighter. So we're going to come down here and boost the uh, the V and HSV. Lighten that up a little bit. Yeah, so I think that's good right there. And again with the jacket, we'll just go through each one. Actually, the jacket's pretty spot on. I don't. I think I don't know. Maybe a little a little more to the brown. Slightly darker. Yeah, I think that's about right there. The belt, I'm not changing. Pants, I'm not changing. Leggings, I think maybe need just a spot, a little spot lighter than that. And again, down here, we're going to lighten them up just a little bit. About right there, I think. Visually, I think that's pretty close. Boots. Boots. Boots are, I think the boots are good. I think the boots are okay. We're going to leave the boots. Okay. So there's our document. And then we just print that out and uh, take it to the bench. And we can use that to help match our colors. Yeah. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if, uh, if you like this sort of content, please let me know in the comments and uh, we can do more of it. All right. Have a great day. Go make something.